So if you're out outside the ark, get into the ark now. Get into the ark now. Get into the ark now, people. Because our king is coming. It will not be long. It will not be long. Our king is coming. The Bible says he's coming for those without spots, without blemish, without wrinkle. When I saw that passage of the Bible, I began to cry to the Lord. I said, Father, even if it's just a little sin that I can look and say it doesn't matter. That the Bible says that not even one spot must be on your garment. If you have been washed and you have been saved by the blood of Jesus, one spot must not be on your garment. You must be completely righteous. You must be completely holy. You must be completely pure. Oh, the Bible says that without holiness, no man will see God. It doesn't matter the church you're going to. It doesn't matter how long you have been saved. It doesn't matter the title you have. It doesn't matter if you're called evangelist. It doesn't matter if prophet is, is, is with your name. It doesn't matter what name you bear. It doesn't matter if you're a pastor. Without holiness, you're not going to see Jesus. You are not going to see Jesus. You are not going to see Jesus. If you are not living a completely holy life, if you are not living a completely you know, pure life, a life without sin, a life without sin, you will not see Jesus. I come here and people ask me, why am I so tough? Why am I so stubborn? But I tell you that if you know the time that we are in, if you know what God showed me, if you know what the things that I have seen in my dreams, the Lord has shown me that we are at the very last time. And guess what? People are on the Broadway. We are at the very last time. And guess what? People are not on the narrow way. They are seeking for fame and wealth. They are seeking to have money. They are seeking for worldly things. Oh, you are going to miss heaven. You are going to miss heaven. If your priority now, if your eyes is not set on that place, if you're not putting your eyes on the on, in, in God on in heaven, if you're not putting your eyes on that glorious land, that place he has gone to prepare for us. He said he's going to prepare a place for us. And if you are not preparing your soul, you will not go to that prepared place. A prepared place for prepared people. Not everybody will enter that glorious land. Not everybody will see Jesus. Not everybody will see him because he is coming. Get your garment washed. Get your garment washed. Get your garment washed. I'm not gonna please you with the way with the with the preachings that are they're they're they giving you, you know, they're giving you sugar to lick. They are preaching you the things that they are saying to you the things that is enticing you. Here we tell you to repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Here we tell you to live a holy life and a righteous life. We do not please you with the things you say. We say. If we say, if we, when we tell you that fornication is a sin, we mean it. When we tell you that adultery is a sin, we mean it. Repent. Repent. Repent and walk in the righteousness of God. Because right now you know that your heart is not pure before God. You know that your heart, you are far from Jesus. Your heart is not pure before God. You are going to miss heaven. You are going to miss heaven. You are not going to see him. A few days back, the Lord was telling me that there is a great falling away. That people are falling away. People are going deep down into the world. People are going deep down into the world. And if rapture does not happen, you are going to die. And when you die, if you die in your sin, you are going to end up in hell. I'm a crazy, I'm a crazy girl, right? I sound crazy because souls are dying and going to hell. How can I be sitting on my bed? How can I be sitting and enjoying this life when souls are on their way to hellfire? How? 
tell me how can we sit down and not talk about Jesus how Jesus is weeping for your soul Jesus is weeping he weeps he weeps daily the person that he created called Satan he created Lucifer he created that that devil he created him but yet it looks like the devil is winning because he's winning in the lives of some people it looks like the devil is winning because you have embraced your sin you have embraced your sin all liars lie no more all liars lie no more if you're married and the person that you're married to is your second wife or your second husband and your first husband is still alive you are going to go to hell you are going to end up in hell because you are, the life you're living is not pleasing to God if you are here and you use people's bank card you are a yahoo boy you use people's bank, bank money their hard earned money for your own lustful desires you are going to end up in hell why don't you repent why don't you repent why don't you repent why don't you repent and walk in the righteousness of God why you cannot why are you cannot why are you cannot why go and meet Jesus go and meet Jesus and say Lord wash my garment or wear me a new garment a new garment of righteousness a new garment to live a holy life for you a new garment to live a pure life you need a sanctified heart you need a sanctified heart how can you stay you, you know you cannot stay a day without sin you cannot stay a day without sin even if it's one lie you tell the lie he's not coming for people like that it's not coming for people like that because the devil has played with your salvation he tells you that that sin does not matter he tells you that that sin does not matter but that is a lie from the pit of hell because as you are there now you that is watching me now an account you are you're going to give account because your daily life is written somewhere your daily lifestyle is written somewhere what you did in the secret place is written somewhere the thought of your heart is written somewhere and you're going to give account you are going to give account you are going to give account you are going to give account you will stand before God you will stand before God and he will show you he will show you he will show you he will show you he has sent someone to talk to you you have seen people talking about Jesus but you run away from them you run away from the people that tell you the truth you run away from Jesus you are running away from Jesus you are running away from Jesus you are running away from the truth when you hear Jesus you, you pass by when you hear Jesus you don't want to listen because you know that you are in sin and you cannot come out of it because you know you are dwelling in sin and you know that you are far, the Lord is far from you so you choose to remain in sin you have chosen to remain in sin you have chosen to remain in sin Jesus is saying that is a set time it is a set time for you to turn away from sin. It is a set time for you to turn away from un unrighteousness. You that is masturbating. You that is masturbating and in pornography. You are daily doing this thing in your secret place.
place. You watch pornography. You masturbate. Jesus is saying that you are on your way to hell. But today can be a set time for you. Today can be a set time for you. Don't ever think it's too late. Oh, that person that tells you, that voice that you hear, that tells you you cannot come out from sin, that's the voice of the devil. That's the devil speaking to you. The devil is telling you that no, you're far from him. The devil is telling you that no, you remain like this. But Jesus is saying it's the set time. But Jesus is saying if only you can call upon me. Jesus is saying I can set you free. Jesus is saying I can set you free. Call upon the name of the Lord. For they that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The devil has caged you. You are here watching me now. Oh, you have been caged in sin. You are watching me now. And you say, can I come out of this thing? You don't like it. You don't like what you do. But the thing is killing you. It's killing you. Each time you pray, nothing happens. Jesus is saying that today is a set time. Jesus is saying that today is a set time. Today is a set time for you, my brother. Today is a set time for you, my sister. He wants to wash your garment. He wants to write your name in the book of life. He wants to write your name in the book of life. He's saying, my son. He's saying, my daughter. Call upon me. I can hear you. Call upon me. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. There is no sin that Jesus did not die for. There is no sin that's too hard to come out from. There is no sin that's too hard to come out from, my people. Why have you chosen the way of destruction? Why have you chosen the way of destruction? You are blindly going to hell. You are blindly going to hell. Call upon me and I will save you, says the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. People call upon the name of the Lord. Are you struggling with sin? Jesus can set you free. Jesus can set you free. I knew the sin that caged me. I thought Jesus would not answer. People of God, I cried out. I said, Lord, are you alive? I said, Lord, if you are alive, save me. I didn't know this is the journey that he was taking me. The journey to eternal life. The journey to eternal life. The journey to eternal life. People of God, this is eternity we're talking about. We're talking about eternity. It's not one million years. It's not 200 million years. It's forever and ever. Why have you chosen to spend it in hell? You are watching me. You, have, you may have only one week to live. You may have only one week to live. You don't know the day you are going to die. Jesus is saying, call upon me, call upon me, call upon me. Jesus is saying, call upon me. You don't know when you're going to die. You can fall and die at any time. Imagine dying unprepared. You are doomed. You have been condemned when you die in sin, when you die in masturbation, when you die in pornography, when you die in adultery, you are doomed. There is no mercy. There is no mercy, no second chance. There is no second chance. You are hearing me now. Repent. Change your ways. Say from today, oh God, I 
choose to change my ways. I choose to follow you. I choose to follow you. You are here. You are filled with lust. You have the spirit of lust inside of you. When you see a girl, you feel the lust. You want to lay down with that girl. Jesus is saying, this is the set time for you to come out from sin. Jesus is saying, this is the appointed time to come out from sin. And he will deliver you from the spirit of lust. He will deliver you from the spirit that caused you to drink alcohol. You cannot stay without it. You constantly drink alcohol. You constantly drink alcohol. Why do you not want to take your eternity serious? It's your eternity we are talking about. It's where your soul is going to spend for the rest of its life. Where do you want to spend it? Where do you want to spend it? Where do you want to spend eternity? Choose now. Choose now. Choose now. You cannot afford to spend eternity in hell because of alcohol. Ah, let that addiction leave you right now in the name of Jesus. As you open your heart to God, that addiction will leave you right now in the name of Jesus. Is there any addiction that's too hard for Jesus to leave, to, to set you free from? But because you have choose to harden your heart, it's because you have not broken down before God. When you break down, when you cry, when you throw it, go and go to your house, throw those things away. I tell you, he will set you free. Is there anyone here you're filled with anger? You are so angry, you cannot stay away from anger. Little things you get angry. Jesus is saying you cannot enter that place. You cannot enter that place. If you're filled with anger, you're not going to see him. It doesn't matter how much you say I'm born again. You cannot go to that place. Other people here, you gossip a lot. You spend time talking about somebody. You spend time gossiping about somebody. You spend time gossiping about celebrities. You spend time on your phone going to going to the news, going for updates on celebrities matter. My God is saying that land is not for people like that. Nobody like that will see Jesus. Nobody like that will enter heaven. No, you're not going to enter. When you're filled with the canal, canalities of this world, the vanities of this world. All you do is to give yourself updates. All oh, this celebrity. All oh, that celebrity. No, you're not going to see Jesus. Because it's, it is for sanctified people. Don't think we joke here. We tell you the truth. We tell you the truth. It's for people who are daily in God's presence. I mean daily in God's presence. You are daily fellowshipping with the Lord. You are daily fellowshipping with the Lord. If you don't have this sweet fellowship with Jesus daily, you cannot see Jesus. You cannot see Jesus. You are not going to see him. Oh, you are not going to see him. You are not going to see him. There are some days you need to get rid of. There are some friends you need to stop talking to. I tell you, there are some friends you need to stop talking to. You that daily talk to friends and you know, you know that all they talk to is worldly things. All they talk to, to, to you about is worldly things. These people are dragging you to hell. The Bible says, the Lord says that you need to deny yourself. And you need to follow him. Follow him with all your heart. There are things you need to deny. Deny it now. Deny those friends. Deny those, those friends, those companies you keep. Deny them and follow Jesus. Deny them and follow Jesus. 
Follow Jesus with all your heart. He wants intimacy. He wants intimacy. He wants to speak to you and you speak to him. He said, my sheep hear my voice. If you don't hear the voice of God, you're in trouble. I'm telling you, there's a, there's a problem. If you don't hear the voice of God constantly, if you don't hear the voice of God constantly, I tell you, I don't stay a week if I stay a week and I don't hear the voice of my father or he doesn't give me a dream if I don't see him in my dreams I am worried I am worried we are supposed to have that sweet fellowship with Jesus we are supposed to have that sweet fellowship with Jesus I am worried if I don't hear the voice of God I'm telling you I, I feel like I, what has happened to me I say, what has happened to my spiritual life I said, Lord, I've not heard you. I said, Lord, I've been seeking you. I wake up at night just to communicate with you. But I've not heard you. Have I, have I committed one thing that is not pleasing unto you? Reveal it unto me. What have I done? Before he can show me himself. And then I know that I'm still connected back to him. That is the intimacy God wants from you. Do you hear the voice of God? Or do, have you just written yourself to be born again? Have you just written yourself, I am born again? But God's voice you do not hear. You are not going to see him. Because those that are going to see him are those that he already knows. And those that already know him. Those that know him that, 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 and that he knows. Those are the people he's, he's going to take up. Those are the people that are ready for the rapture. Those are the ones he's coming for. So go down on your knees. And say, Father, it's true that I don't hear you. It's true that I don't see you. It's true, it's true, it's true. And say, how can I get back to you? Ask the Lord, how can I get back to you? Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Oh, sometimes he cries for his children. His children, they, 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 they don't want to take him serious. They're after the worldly things. And guess what? The enemy will continue to give you, feed you things that will take you away from Jesus. Don't think if you see one story that comes up on Instagram and all of a sudden the whole world is talking about it. It's all planned from the pit of hell. So if you are a child of God, you will follow these things. The Lord was speaking to me the other day. I was, I was thinking of signing into TikTok. That app called TikTok. Jesus said, don't. He said, don't. I said, Lord Jesus, I'm going there for the gospel. He said, it's not everywhere that I have sent you. I have not sent you everywhere. Now what you see is people on their phones watching TikTok stories. They have not spent time with God. They go on TikTok. They go feeding their flesh. Oh, you're going to miss heaven. You're going to miss heaven. You're going to miss heaven. Because he clearly told me. I said, Lord, it's for the gospel. I said, Lord, I'm going to be putting words there so that people can repent. He said, don't go there. That's the same way he said, come out from Snapchat. People of God, these things matters to God. Yes, this app matters to God. Don't think he considers some things and leaves some things. He said, come out of Snapchat. And I began to ask the Lord why. He said, many people... They are there to show pride. They are there to show what they do not have. When you see them, it's all about their flesh. It's nothing about me in that place. But I said, Lord, I'm going there for you. He said, it's not everywhere that I've sent you. If you are truly with Jesus, he will order your steps. If you are truly with Jesus, every single thing you do, even the food you eat, there's, no, there's nothing wrong with saying, Lord, should I eat rice this night? 
Lord, what do I have for dinner this night? That is a father to you. You ask your father everything before doing it. Yes, I do it. I want to hold God tight. I ask God everything. I ask God every day. But because you are not close to God, you do anything. You do anything, you live anyhow. It's, you think it's okay to live anyhow. You think it's okay to live anyhow. Some days, some, some, some months ago, the Lord told to me, there are some weddings you don't go. Any wedding that they play worldly music, that they share alcohol, that they spray money on the people, that all they are out about is lavishness. He said, do not go there. My sheep do not go everywhere. My children do not go everywhere. It's not everywhere their foot must step upon. They are my people. I take care of them. Is God like that to you? Is God like that to you? Can you see what you're missing out? Will you not align yourself back to Jesus now? There are places we do not go. The last wedding I went to, I, 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 I cried because I disobeyed God. I said, Lord, I don't know what you want me to do, but I don't feel comfortable. It was when I came back, he rebuked me. He said, it's not everywhere that you have to go. I'm telling you, ask Jesus. There's some music, gospel music. Oh God, if you know Jesus, if you know him, you will know what he wants. He said, delete it from your phone. So called gospel track that lift up your flesh. Even when you are in your sin, you see people singing gospel music and all they want is Jesus love. Jesus, you love me too much. Oh. All the song that lift up their flesh and Jesus is weeping for you. I don't want to call names. But he said, get rid of them. They are not worshipping me. They are there to exalt the flesh. He said, these people are singing for their, their fame. These people are singing for their money. These people are singing for the eyes of the people. Their song does not go to me. He said, get rid of them. When you do not know Jesus, you do not know these things. When you don't have that intimacy with Jesus, you can't know these things. Because you are not a sheep and your eyes is blind, your ears are closed. He will not speak to everybody. He will not speak to everybody. He does not speak to everybody. He speaks to only those that are his. Now ask yourself, am I for God? Ask yourself, am I his own? Ask yourself, have I truly been for God all these years? I was sitting down again. I said, Lord, we're in the month of August. Another year has gone. How many names have added to the book of life? How many people have gone back from where they started? They knew Jesus before. It's because of carnality. People wonder why I preach carnality so much and lukewarmness, everything carnality. It's because that's what is taking people away. You are carnal and cold. You are not in the spirit. You are not in the spirit. That is why you, 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 you know that Jesus is far from you. You are carnal and cold. I bet you. Take out some time in the night to seek the face of God. Take out some time in the night to seek the face of God. Say it from this time to this time, I'll be waking up to seek God. Let's walk with God. Let's walk with God. Oh Jesus, have mercy on us. Oh Jesus, have mercy on your people. Have mercy. I pray you have mercy upon me. Ask the Lord, is there anything in my life now? Is there anything that you are seeing in me now that is not pleasing unto you? Say, Lord Jesus, wash me. Say, Lord Jesus, cleanse me. We don't know him. That's where the problem is coming from. You don't know him. See, it's dangerous to think that you 
your right standing with God. It's very dangerous. You're taking a risk. So go and be assured. The Bible says that the Spirit of God will be a witness with you, with your spirit. Jesus, amen. The Lord was telling me I need to go back to my night with the Lord, amen. People of God, that is very necessary. That is very necessary. I do it. I do it. I do it. I do it, and I say, Lord, what time? Wake me up. And you see that that sometimes the Spirit of God Himself will wake you up. He will wake you up. You don't even need there. Sometimes we don't need to put alarm. There was a time in my life that he always at a particular at that particular time he wakes me up. He wakes me up because he knows that's the time I've decided to give unto him. He wakes me up so he can do the same in your life. You just need to make a right a decision tonight. Make a decision tonight after hearing me. Make a decision to get back to him. Get back to that intimacy you once had with him. Get back. There are some things. Go to your phones and delete some things. Go to your phones and delete. Ordinary game, people of God. I said I once had game. God, you don't know Jesus. I once had game in my phone. Games. Games. This normal games that we play. And the Lord Jesus himself says, no. Why are you sitting there playing games? And wasting? Do you know that there's no time? He says, do you know that there is no time? I want to prepare you to go out. Why do you sit down with your phone and play games? When the Lord told me that he has not sent me on social media to just be there. He has sent me for the gospel. If I'm not preaching the gospel, I should come out. If you're not preaching the gospel on social media, come out of social media. Because it's a tool of the devil. If God's people are not here to tell people about Jesus, you don't need to be there. I don't scroll on my page. I don't scroll. People ask me, why is it that you never like anybody's pictures? If I see your picture and it's the first thing I see, I may like it. But I don't scroll. I don't scroll. I don't scroll my news feed. I don't. Because it is there to kill my flesh. By the moment I begin to do it, I begin to enjoy. I don't. I come to Instagram. I preach the gospel and I'm out. I am out. I'm out to seek the face of God. I'm out. To stand, get right with Jesus. I'm out. People, you are saying, why is this girl not so much on fire for Jesus? I'm not on fire. Oh. It's the Lord that Himself that is dealing with me daily. I'm telling you, He rebukes me, He chastises me, He disciplines me because I'm His child. Are you the child of God? You that the Lord has been telling, come out of this, come out of that. You have disobeyed. Now the voice you can't hear anymore. You cannot hear anymore because when he speak to you once, when he speak to you twice, when he speak to you three times, yet you still love the fleshy things. He is, he will shut his voice. You will no longer hear him. You will no longer hear him, and that's a bad position to be. Cry out to Jesus. Say, Father, how can I get back to you? Cry out to Jesus. Say, Jesus, get me back. Get me back. Get me back to the place I used to be. Get me back. Get me back. Get me back. Get me back. You need to cry out again. He's going to get, get you back. No, it's his will. It's his will to have that intimacy with you. But he said, draw nearer to me first. Then will I draw nearer to you. You are the one to take it first. You are the one to take the next, the first move. You are the one, not him. He are the one before he gave you that dream. Before he revealed himself to you. Before you can see him in your revelation. You need to take that step first and call out to him. This is word for somebody here tonight. This is a word for somebody here tonight. You are the one to call out to Jesus. It's not him. So if you want that intimacy back to you, there are some of you here, you are prophetess. Prophetess, you're supposed to be seeing things to come before it happens. But you are spiritually down. The Lord is saying, come back. There are some of you here, you're supposed to be my co-evangelist. You're supposed to be my co-evangelist. But because carnality and the things of this world has held you down, you are you are not doing them. 
No, you are not doing them. No, you are not doing them. No, you are not doing them. The Lord is saying that there are people here. He has called out to use them. The Lord is saying, I can hear his voice clearly. He's saying there are people that he has called out here that is watching me right now. You have been called out to do the work of God. But because of your fleshy desires, you have remained in your sin. You have remained in carnality. The Lord is saying tonight, you can get right back. The Lord is saying tonight, you can get right Right back to him. It's a word for somebody here. I feel the power of God in this place tonight. I feel the power of God strongly here tonight because the Lord is speaking to somebody. The Lord is speaking to somebody. There are people watching me. You have been called. You have a calling from God. My God, you have a calling from God. The Lord wants to use you. The Lord wants to use you to do me many miracles he wants to use you to do many things wondrous things but because of your carnality he cannot you are supposed to be preaching and people repenting you are supposed to be preaching and souls conv getting convicted but because of your carnality the lord cannot use you they are ministers of god ministers of god highly anointed you have been highly anointed by God because right from the womb, the Lord knew you. He appointed you to go out to generations, to go out to many people, to go out to the world. But because of carnality, you are stuck. You are here. 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 Tonight, make it a decision. Get back to Jesus. Get back, get back. Get back, get back, get back. Get back. Say tonight from tonight. Make a decision tonight. Say even if you have you have 24 hours in a day, you are going to give so, so time to Jesus. You are going to spend so time on your knees. You are just going to be weeping. Don't do anything. There's somebody here. You are weeping before God. You are weeping in your soul. You are weeping. You say yes. You are weeping between you within yourself. Jesus is saying it's you I'm talking to. You need to get back on your knees. You need to get back on your knees. Get back on your knees. My God. My God. Get back on your knees. 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 Get back to that place. Go back. Go back and spend time with Jesus. Get a time where you spend on your knees. Because Jesus wants to do wonders through you. Jesus wants to do wonders through you. You are a vessel. You are a vessel. You are a vessel. You are a vessel. Do not think that because you are saying, no, this is not me. It is you. You are a vessel. You are a vessel. You are a vessel that the Lord wants to use. If you can open your eyes and see the things he has placed in your hands, you will not sit down right there. You will not sit down right there. You are a vessel. You are a vessel, an end time soldier. You are not going to preach like all the way the world preaches. You have a special message for the people. You have a special message, an end time message to prepare the people for his coming. You are a vessel. Jesus I will go and leave you with Jesus when you have wait after this video do not let it end here do not let it end here that person who the Lord is speaking to do not let it end here shut your door and get back to him shut your door and get back to him God bless you all I want to pray I want to pray Oh, Father, we thank you. 
We thank you for every life that is list that has listened that has joined tonight. We thank you for that soul that you you spoke to tonight. We thank you for that one person, that two persons, that three persons that has heard your word tonight. Lord, we pray that you uplift, you uphold, you restore, you cleanse. Oh Lord, the life of that person. That they may get even more closer to you. I pray for that person that's struggling with that sin. I pray for you wherever you are. That you'll be held bound by the devil. Tonight is a night of freedom. I speak freedom into your life. I speak freedom into your life. I speak deliverance into your life. I speak deliverance into your life. In the name of Jesus. I speak to that vessel of God. That the Lord wants to use mightily. As you make the decision to spend time with Jesus. It will not be too long. You will become a voice. It will not be too long. You will become a voice. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord be with you. May his face shine upon you. May the Lord give you peace. For in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. I, I best bless you all in the name of the Lord. I'm so happy. Whenever I come here, I do not know what the Lord is up to. Me, myself, I expect, I watch again and I expect the Lord to move. Whenever I come here, I'm just an ordinary vessel. I know, I know the reason why the Lord brought me here. I know the reason why. And it has not begun. A lot of people will, will come out of the world through this platform. I'm telling you because I know what the Lord has said to me. I know what the Lord has said to me. So I'm going to leave soon. May the Lord truly really bless all of you. May the Lord bless you. I love you all so much. I'll be back here tomorrow by God's grace. Um, it's two days. I'll be back here tomorrow. I don't know what the Lord is going to do. I, I don't prepare. I don't prepare. See, uh, that's why I don't open the eyes. Sometimes I put the Bible verse. I want to read some. But, you know, <laughs> the Lord just does his thing. The Lord just does it. And I just, I just open myself to God. I just open myself to God. You know, I want you all to keep me in prayers. Um... There's a group called Undiluted Word. It's a group where I share daily messages. Some people are here, they're in that group. And the messages are there to revive us. The messages are there to, you know, to inform us. If you love to join the group, send me a message. If tonight you have been convicted and you want to truly follow, I don't do pray after me. You see, pray after me has led, I, I want to see when I'm leading you to Jesus Christ. I want to see true repentance. Because I know people who will say pray after me. Lord Jesus, they say, Lord Jesus, come into my life, come in. Nothing has happened in this ordinary world. So we don't do pray after me here. Uh -huh. we, when I call you, when I speak to you, I see if you have truly made a decision in your heart. You see, today I did not talk about outwardness. So you see me as I'm just like this. Like this, like old woman. <laughs> it's not old. This is the beauty of God. So there's a lot of things that I tell the ladies there's a lot of things so yeah so if you if you are if you can send me a message and we'll talk i always reply to all messages in, in my i don't have too much followers to ignore any message no i reply to everybody of course i'm nobody uh -huh. Uh -huh. i reply to everybody so please see me as a sister i say it here every time that do not raise me up do not raise me up because it, it, don't be don't allow the enemy to use you to get pride into my heart pray for me say lord take pride from this sister's heart that when she comes here she comes ordinary and you know and and, and do the work of god you see we we don't even come here preaching things that are you know i don't when, when i come here i don't come here preaching things to exalt myself because i know everything that has happened in my life is jesus there's nothing that i can boast of here right now God bless you. You look good, sis. 
you are in the spirit i was planning to do that yeah if you're planning to send me a message please do that i know that the lord has touched a lot of souls here i love you all so much ah, you don't know I, I pray for you i pray for you the people that i i see most of the times that i remember your name i pray i pray for you and i pray that the lord will visit you i'll be back here tomorrow the light is going <laughs> i'll be back here tomorrow by the grace of god and i'll see you tomorrow and you should confirm that I should. Ah, people of God, I don't understand though. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Bye-bye. Thank you, Jesus.